Hello again, world. So one day in June, which was literally last month, I woke up to a nice surprise that my favorite sculpting app for the Android Sculpt Plus has been updated! I played around with it, and so far I'm loving the new features. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the examples of what these features do. Okay, so what I'm showing you first is the symmetry tool. I'm messing around with different types of axes. And this is all like me trying this for the first time and streaming it to myself, which will eventually be streamed to you. I'm also recording what I'm saying without like any script, so this is all just kind of freestyle here. That one came out nice. The paint fill feature, so what this one does is not only, so in the old version you can actually change the entire object color, but on top of that you can actually use a fill tool to fill the entire object color on top of that. And then with that being said, you can like use the white as an eraser tool, because there is no eraser tool, so white would be the closest thing to reveal the color underneath. See what I did there? Sweet! So in the old version, one of my biggest gripes, which I have here, the old version, is when you subdivide, it auto-smooths it, which forces me to kind of have to use a flatten tool. In this new version, you have the option of actually disabling auto-smooth, and so therefore you can subdivide as many times as you want without having to smooth it. And see, I'm able to do a nice extrusion on a nice, already crisp cube. So now we're going to move on to my absolute favorite of the ball of the updates. So this is the old version. Say for example we try to start off by making a tree with some branches and roots. In order to work on some extremity details you have to use what was the remesh tool. I'm sorry, the, um, the subdivide tool. And then um, the problem with using subdivide too many times is that it makes the file larger and it's much more difficult to work with. So you're forced to kind of rely on pulling triangles around that are already stretched out enough as it is. As you can see I'm struggling. In the new version, that's when we start to use the remesh tool. You're not forced to subdivide. Um, it redistributes all the triangles evenly among your model. So as you can see, it's not the best tree root ever that I made, but I can always go back and smooth after. This is just for demonstration purposes. As you can see, I use the remesh tool as many times as I want. Just adds a bit of triangles at a time, and it redistributes all of them. This is by far my favorite, the best of all the updates. And I heard rumor that in the future, in fact, this was actually confirmed by Envoy that on the Facebook group that they're going to be working on a posing tool for one of their future updates and I'm really looking forward to it and I really wish them luck. I'm sure they can do it if they've already did this much of a fantastic job as it is. I hope you've enjoyed what you learned so far and you continue to give this app a try and I look forward to seeing what you made.
If you are a new subscriber, welcome and thank you. And for those of you who have already been subscribed, another special thanks to you. See you next time.